Today, 4029 was the first to tell you in a breaking news alert that a bridge has been closed for safety reasons. Our Brad Carl is in West Fork and shows us the problem, Brad. If you live in West Fork, this was pretty much your only option for getting across the White River on the south side of town. But Washington County leaders say it just wasn't worth keeping this old bridge open at the expense of safety. It's kind of a rickety bridge. And not just rickety, but structurally unsafe, according to Washington County leaders and the latest state highway department inspection. That's why, as of today, <laughs> the county judge ordered the 90 year old Woolsey Bridge closed to traffic for good. Weather on them, rain, uh, they start resting, pins start cracking, fatiguing. Even at first glance, the county road department superintendent says the wear, tear, and rust on this aging bridge is easy to see. It's really, really not safe. It, it's, it sways back and forth. And neighbors like Louise Folk have known this bridge was a problem for years. But even though their main route to Highway 71 and way out during floods is now effectively cut off, Folk says she's happy the county is moving forward and planning to replace the bridge soon. I'm glad somebody really made the decision to close it it's before somebody gets hurt. Don't want that. Until a new bridge is built, those who live here will have to drive three miles north into West Fork to get across the river. In West Fork, Brad Carl, 4029 News. Brad, thanks. The Washington County judge says they hope to start construction on a new bridge within the next year.